could you please explain what exactly is the precession of the equinoxes and why does it need exactly 26,000 years to complete? Also, there are many geological evidences that some sort of extreme calamity happens every 26,000 years, like earthquakes, floods, earthquakes, floods, tsunamis. Is it related to the precession of the equinoxes? Okay. What is the precession of the equinox? The Earth is a spheroidal planet. You could approximate it to be a sphere, yeah? It's oblate, it's squashed uh, in a certain way, but it's, it's nearly spherical. You could approximate it with a sphere. So, and it's a spinning object, right? So it spins around a certain axis. The axis is not straight up with respect to the plane of the solar system. It's tilted, right? And this tilt is spinning. So a picture is worth 10,000 words. Let me show you a picture, an image, so that you get what I am saying instead of me going on forever. So let's bring in the picture of that. Where is it? Here it is. Let me enlarge this a little bit. So this is our planet, the Earth. It is spinning around its axis. And this axis is tilted with respect to the ecliptic plane. All right? The plane of the solar system, you could, you could consider it to be that. And there's a North Pole and a South Pole, which is... So you, you, you can see what that is. Now, let's take a look at another image. So the axis of precession itself goes around in this manner. And the North Pole right now is pointed at this star called Polaris. But 13,000 or so years ago, it was pointed at a different star called Vega. Right? So 13,000 years ago, the North Pole, the, the polar star, the pole star was Vega, not Polaris. Today it is Polaris. And later it will be this star called Demeb and Alpha Draconis and all. So this phenomenon that you are seeing right here, right, right here, is called the precession of the equinoxes, right? And this entire cycle, one entire cycle from Polaris to Vega and back, that takes about 26,000 years ago, uh, 26,000 years, one entire cycle. It's actually about 25,700 or so years. You can say it's about 26,000 years. So that is called the precession of the equinoxes. Hopefully that makes sense once you see it in, in that manner, the image, right? So that's just how it is. In certain other planets, I'm sure it would take a different amount of time. Uh, all planets have a certain, so, certain amount of tilt with respect to the plane of the solar system. And uh, I'm not sure what the numbers are, but in other planets, the planets you would have a different amount of time that it takes for an for a entire cycle. So that's how it is. So that's why, it, that, that's the amount of time it takes. Uh, there are geological evidences that some extreme calamity happens every 26,000 years. I'm not sure about that. You have cycles. There is something called the Milkanovich cycle that is a climate change cycle that you can look up, right? Uh, there's another cycle or, or event that happens periodically in the Earth, which is the reversal of the magnetic poles. So you have North Pole and South Pole. We also have magnetic poles in the Earth, which are more or less aligned with the North Pole and South Pole. That also reverses in polarity every few, I don't know how what the, what the time period is. You can look that up if you're interested. So there are multiple cycles that are, that are there, that play out again and again and again in our planet, on our planet. And you see uh, the events that are a consequence of that. So I am not sure if the precession of the equinoxes is, is re related to any earthquakes or floods or tsunamis, but uh, you have a variety of various uh, climatic and other cycles that the planet witnesses on a regular basis.